There's countless basic strategies to take your grinding abilities up another level. There's a few, including and not excluding, always using your fastest car to be efficient, grinding with your friends who also want to make millions. These few simple strategies are just scratching the surface and throughout this video we will go more in depth for each robbery. Small stores are a very easy robbery to master, but there are a few glitches that you can use to drastically improve the rate you rob them at. Small stores are often overlooked, but are in reality very good. If you have a few seconds to spare, I recommend going to a small store to fill that time. It's basically free money. Otherwise, the only glitch you can use is the E hold glitch, done by holding E quickly and escape, letting go of E, then clicking escape again. Power plan is a pretty simple robber to master using some of my simple strategies. For power, you're going to want to arrive early, as you can see I'm doing here. You want to arrive early so you can do the other two robberies in the group. Here, you're going to sword spam by clicking the slot your sword is in and simultaneously clicking your sword. After that, you're just going to want to continue through here as you normally would. Alright, after this, you're just going to sword spam here again. Now you're going to leave. I recommend using Bolt, but if you don't have Bolt, use your quickest vehicle. I also recommend using this route as it seems to be the most efficient. For museum, there's a very easy route to follow. You're going to want to open this top as you normally would, then follow this route. Drop down here to pick up this cube. Then you're going to walk over to where the diamond is, pick up the diamond, and start doing the puzzle as I am here. After that, you're going to walk into the little lever room, pick up the bigger diamond that's on your right, wait to pull the lever once, you're, once everything's finished. Then after robbing museum, you should wait and check on whether power opens or not. If it does, go to power and rob using the strategies mentioned B earlier. Otherwise, if it doesn't, just continue. Cargo ship is one of the easiest robberies, but there are a few things you can do to make it easier, such as using a small air vehicle, such as Little Bird or Escape Bot, as you can see me using Escape Bot here. Both of these will make it drastically easier, as the ship has less to aim at. As you can see, I only got hit once. Alright, now we're just gonna cash this, and there's not really much else you can do for a cargo ship. It's pretty easy robbery and straight to the point. Alright, now we got this last crate to get, then we just gotta go cash it in, and that's all you can really do for a cargo ship. Alright, now we're cashing it in. Both trains are pretty easy to master, but can be very easy to get arrested in. The first strategy you can do is get the minimum from a train then dip. This will give you a very low chance of cops being able to catch up to you. Otherwise, what you can do is quickly escape the train without the hassle of dealing with the door. What you're going to want to do is walk up to the right side of the train and spawn any car of your choice. Make sure the right side of your avatar is touching that inside of the car. If you spawn a car, you should be able to easily escape. This works on both trains, but there's a different strategy you can use for passenger. As you see me doing here, if done correctly, you can get into the back of the passenger train just like this. The cargo plane is a really easy robbery. It's pretty basic and there's not much you can do differently. The only glitch there is for it is getting on it after the door is already closed. To do this, you're just going to simply drive up to the back of the plane as I'm doing here and you're going to want to jump out. You can do it pretty late after the plane's taken off, but otherwise, you kind of just have to sit and wait. Jewelry is a bit more complicated than other robberies we have went over, but getting started you are just going to want to fill up your bag and then begin your ascent. Depending on the floors, there should be a couple different things you can do. If there's a floor with gems, you can actually go back and pick those gems up after you already dropped off your bag. Otherwise, if there's this floor here, you can skip by jumping on this monitor and hopping up on the wall and completely skip this floor. Other than that, there's not really much else you can do for jewelry. It's a pretty hard robbery for most. Now you're just going to want to cash in your money as you normally would. For Casino, to starting off, you're just going to want to come in here. I'm going to show you every location. One's right there. You're going to walk behind this counter. One, another there. There could be another code there. Other codes there. Or here. Or the only the spot mine happened to be in was there. Now you're just going to come in here. I recommend using this route that I'm doing here to find computers obviously it was already done i was just showing you now you're gonna come down here you can sword spam to make this a little quicker but otherwise it's gonna be about the same as you probably normally do all right 
Alright, then you're just gonna want to leave and cash in your money as normal. There's nothing really special you can do for it. Bank is one of the toughest robberies to complete in a public server. What I recommend is always carrying a rocket launcher and a C4. C4s are highly underrated, and if you place it like I'm doing here, it's really hard for cops to get by. Otherwise, for bank, it's mostly up to your PvP skills and your luck on how skill skillful the cops are on your server. If they're bad, it's going to be really easy to complete. Otherwise, I just recommend robbing bank in a private server. Boom can be a difficult robbery to complete, but using this, you can just basically skip in the entire obby, come up in a helicopter, jump out, and parachute into Tomb. You're going to come down here through the entrance, and then you're going to want to stay relatively low over these spikes, but not too low so you can make it through this tunnel. Then here, follow the obby as I'm doing here. Then here, you're just going to do everything as normal, but you basically skip the whole obby besides the bridge. The last glitch we can do for this is the e-hold glitch, you'll see me do it here in a minute. Alright, now we're going to do the e-hold glitch, you can just barely see me do it, I'm pretty quick with it. But now you're just going to do this as normal. Now, you don't have to touch anything, I wasn't touching my keyboard throughout this. And now we cash it and we're good. Honestly, oil rig isn't even worth robbing, but if you do want to rob it, come up here, kill the NPCs, and come up here, kill that NPC. Now you're just going to pick up this. If you want a keyless robbery route for oil rig, watch my last video. Here, now we're just getting this, killing the NPCs. This is in private server, so the NPCs don't have guns. If you want to learn how to do that, also go to my last video. Alright, we're getting here, the key here. The only skip you could do is here. You can jump from this ramp to here. Basically skip the whole lobby in the oil rig. Other than that, there's not much else to do. You're just gonna come back here and cash it in. Three, oh, two, no. No, no, no. Okay, wait, wait. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.